Good evening, everybody. You are here for the Lake Arlington Gravity Main Part 1 and Part 2 Community Design Meeting. Your project manager is Pratima Pujal. Uh, we want you to, if you're, I think all of you can see the screen. So if you have questions now or during the presentation, you can post them in chat and we'll answer those at the end of the Pratima's presentation. Uh, it, the website link for this project, if we go to the chat, the link is in the chat box and Pratima's contact information is also in the chat box. So I am going to pass this over to Pratima Pujal. Thank you, Sally. This is the agenda for today's meeting. I am going to introduce myself and the project design team. I'll provide you the project overview, project location. We'll discuss some of the frequently asked questions, and I'll provide you the project timeline. My name is Pratima Pordial, and I'm Senior Professional Engineer with City of Fort Worth Water Department, and I'm the project manager for this project. My number is 817-392-6149, and the email address is pratima.podial at phototexas.gov. Diot Engineering is the design engineering firm for this project, and Brian Darby is the project manager, and he is also present in this meeting. There are two parts on this Lake Arlington Gravity Main project. The first part, we are calling it upstream gravity main, um, and the second part is the downstream. The first part is in Council District 8, and the second part is in Council District 5, and I'll show you the locations in the next slide. The upstream gravity main is about 5,000 linear foot, and it is a 78-inch uh, new sewer line. And the downstream gravity main, which is part two, is about 3,000 linear foot, and it is 42 to 72 inch new sewer line. As you can see on this map here, the bold line over here, that's the part one upstream part that it starts from just north of, um, I'm sorry, the south of uh, Lawn Stephenson Road, where it links um, to our existing sewer line M257 part two, and then goes northwards and it ends at the Lake Arlington lift station. The Lake Arlington lift station is under construction right now, and it is uh, just north of Freeman Drive. The part two, the downstream um, part of this project is over here. Um, it starts between Arkansas Lane and East Rosedale Street and goes eastwards and ends near the Cooks Lane and Lancaster Avenue, and it connects to the 60-inch existing sewer line. Why we are doing this project? Um, this is one of our master plan project. Um, the green area you see on this map is our Willis Creek sewer basin. And parts of this um, uh, sewer basin, uh, sewer collection system is at capacity. And we need more capacity in this basin. Um, and the increased capacity is necessary because of a projected population uh, for Fort Worth and also for our customer cities of Burleson and Crowley. What happens if the sewer system reaches capacity? Well, when it rains, um, since the system um, in this um, uh, sewer site is at capacity, uh, it overflows. Uh, we also call them wet weather overflows. This happens when untreated sewers in the city underground sewer system overflows and the raw sewer is released. Now I'm gonna discuss a few of the frequently asked questions. What is a gravity main? A gravity main is a pipe system um, in which the sewer moves um, using gravity or just mother nature. What is the force main? It is a pipe system, um, but in this system, the, uh, the sewer moves, um, in this system, sewer moves uh, using the force, and the pumps, compressions, and lift station provide that force, that energy to move the sewer through the pipe system.
What is LS station? LS station is a um, um, blush at pump station uh, where um, the sewer is generally lifted from the lower elevation to the higher elevation. It is basically an oversized grinder pump. Um, I mentioned to you about the Lake Arlington station. Uh, it is under construction and it is just north of Freeman Drive, south of I-20 and east of uh, Anglin Drive. And uh, um, part one of this project is going to end on this lift station. Is it a part of bigger project? Um, as I mentioned to you earlier, it is one of several master plan projects we have. And yes, it is a part of bigger projects. There are several projects linked uh, upstream and downstream of this project. Uh, under part one, um, it links to another project, M257 part two, um, on the downstream, and it links to Lake Arlington lift station and force main project. The lift station is under construction. The force main is in design, and it is about seven miles long. Um, and the part two of the uh, this gravity main project connect to the um, part of that um, force main project, and uh, the downstream main connects to the existing sewer main. I know there are so several uh, pieces connecting to it, and if you'd like to know more about all these different projects, you can go to these project links and find out more about uh, these projects. This is a design public meeting. The next step uh, for us is to uh, advertise this project for bids for construction, uh, open the bids, and then council will approve the bid to the contractor. And once we have the contract established with the contractor, we'll have a pre-construction meeting with the contractor and the city inspector. And after that, we'll come back to the community again with a WebEx community meeting. Uh, to update you about the project um, before the construction. And after that, the construction will start. Where can I get more information? Um, you can have more information about this project um, in city website. And there is a link for this project, um, you know, project which we update frequently. So uh, you can get updated information from them, that link. You can also go to um, www.fototexas.gov and enter 101311 in the search bar. Uh, that's the project number for this project. The link for this meeting video, the project map, the project summary, frequent ask questions will be linked to the same project page. Again, my name is Pratima Podial and my number is 817-392-6149. An email address is pratima.podial at phototexas.gov. And Diot Engineering is the design engineering firm, and Brian Darby is their PM. I also have another number over here for emergency water main bricks and uh, sewer backup. It is a 24-hour service. The number is 817-392-4477, and you will have to select option one. You can call the same number for non-emergency uses as well. Uh, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday. With that, this presentation is complete. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead. We don't have any questions in the chat right now. I did forget to introduce Sandy Bro. She's the District Director for Council District 5. Sandy, if you want to say anything. I appreciate y'all being here. I think it's time we go have a cold beer. <laughs> uh, Craig, did you have any questions? You said you live on the other side of Lake Arlington. Yeah, correct. Uh, no, I don't at this time. Thank you. Okay. I think everybody else is internal. Does anybody um, from the city of Fort, Fort Worth have any questions? I, think, I don't know whether we said this, Pratima, this is a design meeting, so we will be coming back in, do we have an idea when we'll have the construction community, community meeting? So we are at 90% design and we are um, doing archeological survey. Um, and then probably uh, the construction probably start in uh, fall of this year. So we'll probably come back in uh, August or September and talk about this again. 
and, and have the yes. actual timeline then and a contractor on board. Yeah. Okay. Do you all know if this will be um, online or if it'll be in person? We don't know at this time. I know transportation and public works is um, trying to work with that, but the issue is we are reaching a lot of people we would not reach with the WebEx that don't feel safe coming to a meeting, but we also have people who want in person. So I know that they are, are talking to our communications department to see if there is a way to do both at the same time. So at this point, we don't know but I don't anticipate us making that move until at least August, September time. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Anybody else? Going once, going twice? Good night. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. Appreciate Appreciate y'all being here and then we will uh, notify everybody again when we have the community construction meeting. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.